Right, um, my name's Heather McKenzie. We live out here in Leeston, been out in the countryside for six years after being earthquake refugees. We decided we wanted to stay away from the city. Partner still works in town, drives in each day. I've semi-retired and just can do whatever I like. We've got a very fancy charger, we've got a zappy, which if it's a bright sunny day and I've got two days free, I can actually charge it straight from the solar panels. Charger's only charged 80% yeah. and I'll get 340, 360. Wow. Depends on how lead the foot has been. Because, yeah. um, you know, I do get cars coming up the rear going, oh, Mustang. Oh. And sometimes I'm going, no, pass, I don't care. But other times I'm going, I'll show you. I'll do my limit speeding and, and I don't even put my lane assist on. I, I'm happy to um, have the keys in my wallet and just press the button and open it. I don't need to start it from, you know, inside the house. Yeah. I just don't need to do it. I'm, I'm capable, I know I can do it yeah. if I wanted to. And I also work down at Rakaia yeah. once a week. So I take it and it's really nice to, I know I've got to get there in 20 minutes. And if I'm late, it's like, I can get there quite easily. Yeah. Cause it goes, I'm surprised at how fast you can go around a bin. I've been really surprised going, don't, don't push it, just don't push it. I usually charge it once, maybe twice a week. So I tend to just charge it overnight. From 9 till 1am it charges and I looked at the cost and it was $5. And it's all automatic, all my lights are completely automatic. It's, I mean, I don't, I've just got them on auto and it hits high beam when there's no other cars or lights around and I'll dim them as well. I'm just going, oh, okay. All right, yep, you can do it. You're in charge. Sometimes I go back to manual. Just depends on what mood I'm in. Travelling between cars is very important, I feel. And if you're too close to the car in front, um, you'll, on your speedo, you'll get a, a bright red. It's say, almost warning. And then it just goes down to amber, then gradually fades to lighter and lighter, and then it goes blue. And then you know you're at a safe distance. It's quite amazing, whoever's designed those, I, take my hat off to them because right. it's the noise, the no noise. Right. People do not hear you coming. Okay. And, and I, I do look out for people who are wearing headphones. Yeah. And I love scaring the living daylights out of them going, oh, you idiots. But no, I, I do tend to toot. It's all the, the alarms go off when you actually step foot out of the car and the engine's still going. It's like, oh, I'm just going back to get something or I'm going to the letterbox. No, it's fine. If only you could actually tell it, it's okay. I'm not leaving you here. And the other thing that just absolutely cracks us up, and it took my partner probably four goes before we worked out how to do it, is the puddle light, the Mustang puddle light. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. And there's a Mustang and it, and it points the right way. Somebody said to me, oh yeah, okay. But yes, you have a Mustang um, on both sides. Hey.